Till now we have studied about the arterial system which supplies blood from heart to different parts of the body. Now we will start with the venous system that is the system that brings blood from different parts of the body to heart. This blood is impurified or is in impure form. This figure describes the venous system of the frog. As studied, venous system is the system that is associated with collecting impure blood from various organs and bring it to heart. This collected impure blood from all the parts of the body is emptied into sinus venosus through three cavils, two pre and one post cavil. As it can be seen from the figure, each pre cavil receives blood from the external juggler and veins that is innominate vein and subclavian vein. These veins drain impure blood from different organs like tongue, head, brain, limbs, etc while the cutaneous and pulmonary vein along with few branches of subclavian vein exceptionally receives oxygenated blood unlike the previous veins. Now these different veins carries impure blood from different organs and into into heart. For example, renal portal vein brings blood that is impure blood and emerges out into posterior vena cava which arises from the right lobe of liver and empties into sinus venosus. Similarly, gonadial vein brings impure blood from gonads and empties into posterior vena cava, thereby into sinus venosus. Similarly, different veins bring impure blood from the respective organ and empty into sinus venosus via posterior vena cava. Now, let us study about the portal system. In vertebrate animals like frog, there is a specific vein arrangement which is known as portal system. Now as, in, as we all know that arteries and veins together combine to form capillaries. This capillary arrangement helps in the formation of portal system. Veins generally collect deoxygenated blood as studied before from various organs but some veins before entering into heart enters into few organs like liver and kidney and thereby divide into many capillaries. Such type of veins are known as portal veins and the system formed by such portal veins is known as portal system. Thus portal veins is formed by capillary formation that is used for transfer of deoxygenated blood from various organs to heart
via specialized organs such as liver or kidney and the system formed by such veins is called portal system now in from there are basically two types of portal system that is renal portal system and hepatic portal system renal portal system is the system in which blood vessels carrying deoxygenated blood from organs like hind limbs or fore limbs is carried to the kidney and thereby to heart on the contrary in hepatic portal system the blood vessels carrying blood from organs like digestive tract is supplied to liver thus hepatic portal system is the system that is associated with liver on the contrary renal portal system is the system which is associated with the kidney